The Harcourts Building in Wellington was built in 1928 in the Chicago style, a type of architecture known for its steel-framed, utilitarian tall buildings. And because of this, the Harcourts Building has a Category 1 historic place listing. The building survived a number of earthquakes over the years, but because of new standards, it's now considered an earthquake risk and it needs an $11 million upgrade. The owner, Mark Dunajczyk, wants to tear it down. But the Council and Heritage New Zealand want the building saved. This week, the Environment Court backed them, saying the building must not be demolished. Dr. Dunajczyk joins Mr. Dunajczyk, sorry, joins me now from Wellington. Hello, welcome to the program this morning. Good morning. So it's a requirement that you bring this building up to code. Why are you digging your heels in here? Um, sorry, could you repeat the question? It's a requirement that you bring this building uh, up to code, Mr. Dunajczyk. So why do you oppose doing that? It is economically uh, totally uh, out of the question. And secondly, in my opinion, the structure of the building can be made safe, but the facade, which is unreinforced brick masonry, cannot be properly safeguarded. The Historic Places Trust would beg to differ with you on that. They think you can do it. Well, that's their opinion, but uh, the opinions I have from a variety of engineers, the weak point in the strengthening will still remain the facade. We are not talking about the structure of the building. OK, it's my understanding that it, you know, money isn't the issue here, because I know I think you spent around $100 million building the Astron building near the train station in Wellington. I'm told you want to bowl this and build a 25-storey tower. Is that the reality here? Is that just what you want to do? Does it make more sense to you to do that? Of course. It would be a much better use of the area. And I just want to make it clear, it's not a new building that I want to erect. I just want to extend the existing building over the entire area of the Harcourts building footprint. Do you think in this country we need to do what we can to retain heritage? I have no problem with that, except that it is my opinion if the greater community considers that as such a jewel of from the nation, in that case, I'm quite prepared to gift it to them, provided they, first of all, retain and maintain the building for the future. In other words, uh, if the community wants it, here it is, you look after it. I cannot see where the logic is that I, as an individual, should comply with the wish of a certain degree right. of the public. And you've offered the building to the Historic Places Trust for a dollar, which I think you, you know, I may be calling the Historic Places Trust bluff a little bit. What do you expect, though, is going to happen now? Uh, first of all, I'm not bluffing. I mean it. And as I already said, there are fundamental conditions attached to it, and that is that they cannot flog it on to somebody else afterwards. You did know, though, that it had heritage status when you bought it in the 90s? No. First of all, I didn't buy direct. I was part, a minor part, in a consortium that acquired the land where HSBC is standing on and the Harcourts building right. in the late 90s. Did you follow due, due diligence, though? Uh, as I said, I wasn't part of the consortium that acquired it. I came onto the scene in the very late 90s when all the planning and resource consent has been obtained by the other party. OK, so what's going to happen, do you think, right now? What's, what's feasible here? I know that it's uninsurable. I know you're paying an enormous amount of rates. What happens to the Harcourts building? We are in a state of limbo because the yellow sticker on the building says I have to strengthen it 
or demolish it by July 2027. And therefore, I have no option. I'm not prepared to strengthen it. And uh, HPT doesn't want it, so therefore, it just will simply sit there and decay. All right, Mark Dunaichika, the owner of the Harcourts Building in Wellington, thank you for your time this morning.